Hello and welcome to MovieZoo basic training video number 3. This one's called Casting. This is where we look at characters uh, that we can select to use and customise within MovieZoo. Alright, so let's jump right in and see what we can do with them. So here we are, we have MovieZoo open and we'll go to the Create Characters. Okay, this is the options we have available for the characters. Uh, to choose from and customize. We have superhero characters, special man, we have we have villains, uh, we've got blobs and normal looking people too. So let's just pick somebody normal shall we? And there's Barry, good old Barry. Right, let's have a look at Barry and see what we can do with him. So, get him in the middle of the screen. And with Barry selected, we'll go to the Edit menu, go down to the bottom, Edit. And up comes Barry's options for customization. Now, the sections that are selected down the side here show the different things that we can do. You can expand they've got a little arrow next to them you can expand uh, the heading and you'll see the subsections within them eyebrows so for the face that we're on just now there's the eyebrows that we can choose from eyes glasses ears as you can see all the way down so let's try and change Barry so we can also change Barry's name let's call him Joan Okay, so his name's now his name's now John. And we'll give John big ears. We'll give him for his nose. Uh, let's give him a pointy nose. Let's have a look. I'm rotating the character around the same way as I would objects. Um, hair. Let's see his hairstyle. Can change it to a spiky one. Uh, his top. As you can see at the moment, all I'm doing is selecting these things down here. You probably noticed that over to the side there are properties that we can change to. So I've given him a t-shirt and I'll change the properties of this t-shirt. So if I select by clicking, left clicking in that bar up come the other options that I can use for his t-shirt. So I'm just clicking through colours. That's how you change the colour properties. Um, the character itself, if you go to body, at the moment you can probably see smiling. You can change how expressive they are. They're really happy, if he's in happy mode, or just blank, right down to blank. Okay, but we'll leave him happy just now. We can change his skin colour. Um, there's various things. As you can see, his teeth. We can make him blink. We can make him breathe or not breathe. We can scale him up, make him a giant. And make him absolutely tiny. Okay, so we can also add custom images to his back to his chest or to his entire body if we wanted to make him a lizard man we could cover him with a texture covered in scales uh, we can give him instruments here we go he's got a little guitar uh, we can add certain effects to to him as well we can have him dazed with stars swirling round and for each one of these things in the menu, as I said, and as I did with the T-shirt, there are properties that can be adjusted. You can, uh, when it comes to effects, you can change the intensity, uh, the colour, the image, the location. And you can change the location of an accessory on the body as well. Let's do this with a hat. Let's give him a hat. Okay, so location, I want to move that hat up and I want to rotate it back so there you go 
Also, I could scale it up and down. Make it really big hat, really small hat. Change the color, as I did with the T-shirt. So as you can see, it says John, and I felt whatever. And once I've created a character that I'm happy with, I can then click on favorites, and then I can save John to the favorites so that I can use them in a set later on. And that's how we go about creating a character, customizing it, and saving it to the favorites. So that was tutorial number three, called casting. The next one is called directing, where we actually get into the animating side of things. See you soon.